It has been a while, my friends. Welcome back to the Digital Pen Pals podcast. I'm your host, Zach Schertz. Uh, I am an artist and also content creator. And so I like to delve into a lot of the uh, creative ideas and and thoughts behind all the things why artists do what they do and talking all things from YouTube to, uh, you know, just doing digital art or physical art um, or just creativity in general. I really like to explore the world and this podcast is a way for me to do that uh, with you guys. So, uh, thanks for listening. Uh, those who are just returning, uh, sorry, it's been a bit, it's been probably well over a few months since the last podcast. Um, I keep being overly ambitious that I'm going to be more productive and, and be on top of, uh, posting more frequently. Um, but I am not alas. Um, and I am still, uh, in the process, and by that I mean um, getting myself in the mood to uh, invite guests onto the show. Um, I felt a very kind of insecure for a while um, about reaching out to um, some artists to get them on because um, I feel like I kind of haven't been posting as often as I want to, which I say like I feel like every time I come on this podcast, but. Um, I think it kind of like led to me to um, kind of what I want to talk about in this podcast today, um, which is um, all about um, mind rot of an artist. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to title this episode anyway. Um, and I think uh, the way I prepared for this podcast was just kind of thinking, because I've been trying to do a little bit more preparation before time, just thinking, you know, what are some, jot down some ideas and some bullet points to like what I might want to talk about. Um, so that way it has like a little bit more structure. And um, I was like, I just couldn't think of anything to do for this episode. I wanted to record a podcast a few days ago, um, but I just, I couldn't think of anything. And um, I think I want to talk about that. I think that ironically is the topic of um, what I like to call creative mind rot. And um, for me, uh, I think how I view myself and uh, I perceive the world has affected me a ton with how what I'm able to make and uh, hopefully you guys can relate to this I, I want this to be open-ended so like whatever you're dealing with like I would love to know in the comments or wherever you are if you're on Spotify hi <laughs> uh, this is so weird meta but um, yeah I'm I I, th I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on this because um, literally this is the only thing stopping us from unleashing full creative uh, power over the world if if that statement sounds profound, uh, it probably doesn't. But to me, I feel like that's kind of um, the end point of all this is uh, if you can tap into this and be fully who you want to be as an artist, then like there's really not a lot stopping you. Uh, and I guess I'm talking from like a personal standpoint of like this, like my inner dialogue I have with myself, um, but also like to, to anyone, because truly like what I think to myself is also what I believe for other people is that, you know, we can do so much crazy stuff in this world if we just kind of put our minds to it. Um, and so I think for me, when I when I started recording this podcast, um, it started on, under uh, very different circumstances where um, typically always had someone on the podcast uh, to interview because it it is it is literally content. It is really great content for people, and I really enjoy those conversations and um, getting to learn from other people. And I think you guys did as well. And uh, not that it's been that long since I've had a, uh, someone on the podcast, but uh, it's it's been a long time. Uh, I've reached out to a few people that um, kind of I've kind of ghosted them. Uh, if I'm being completely honest, because I'm I'm a very open person online, which can be a good or bad thing. Uh, but I, I literally just ghost people because I just literally. I wanted to do interviews, but just I for some reason there's something stopping me, and uh, most of it's just laziness. It's just like, oh well, I gotta get on the podcast. Um, but then you know I would think back, oh man, I haven't been posting frequently. Um, I haven't been doing what I'm supposed to be doing, and so it's kind of like this sort of I guess the only way I can describe it is kind of like a guilt, where I kind of felt like, ah, dude, I need to be working harder in order to make this happen. And, you know, how am I supposed to ask guests on the podcast if I haven't really been doing this as frequently anymore? And, you know, I'm like, ah, oh, then I have to set up, you know, 
recording for uh, a video call and all this stuff and it just um just a lot of doubts scrolled into my mind not like doubts that would stop me from you know you know stop me from doing it entirely but just like in the moment just like oh gosh i'm gonna put this off and deal with it later uh, even though i was so proactive and asking people to come on the podcast but um so sorry guys all those who i asked on the podcast but haven't really um got a date set up yet but um yeah I, i'm working on it uh, i've been uh finding a lot of really cool people and the same methods just through tiktok uh which i think is probably the most best option uh or through instagram and just dming them finding a way to contact them and that's been uh, really easy so just that goes to show like if you guys wanted to like do your own podcast you can totally do this stuff um just i think every every podcast kind of have has its intentions um from the person who made it um and for me this podcast is is kind of my own voice um in in these conversations with people and and sometimes just by myself with you guys um so uh yeah and um so that kind of view of myself i feel like kind of stopped me from creating and it, it just kind of bled into a lot of different facets of my life like you know there's being busy there's being you know maybe you have art block or something um which is kind of similar to like this mind rot and um i think it's just kind of like this poison you have in your mind that you have a lot of negative self-talk uh, if you've ever taken any interpersonal classes uh, or interpersonal relationship classes i should say uh, i only took one <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, but uh, I think it's an interesting topic because it's something I've always kind of thought about for a long time, but I ne can never put into words what it is. Uh, just this like inner reflection and like kind of recognizing and acknowledging like um, your inner monologue and um, the things you do. Um, and I, uh, yeah, I took a class on this, um, kind of uh, interest interested me because uh, I had to fill a credit in college. And so I took this online course. Uh, and I really liked it and it kind of introduced me a lot of uh, the different concepts that actually I kind of was already aware of, but it put words to them or titles and names. And I was like, okay, this actually is a thing. This is cool. I feel less crazy for thinking a little too complex uh, internally, if that makes sense. But um, so, yeah, I, I think uh, the negative self-talk that we, we give ourselves and like um, how we view ourselves is so vastly different than how other people perceive us. Uh, so for instance, me posting this on social media and anywhere else that you're listening, uh, there's like a perception, right? To me, this is how I view the podcast channel. I feel like I, I've kind of lost control and having to, uh, when start, the podcast started, started with a friend and then, um, and then I was the only one that wanted to continue the podcast. So I picked it up right where I left off and just kind of uh, took it as my own and um, started doing interviews and it was going great. And um, to me, I felt like it just wasn't near the level of like quality and, and stuff that I wanted, which is kind of silly because, and this, this is again going back to like how we view ourselves versus how, how other people view us. And in this context, like how our online presence kind of dictates how people see us. Um, so like, you know, for me, the podcast is kind of like, ah, it's kind of mediocre. I'm not really on top of things. Same thing with YouTube, I'm kind of like, man, I'm all over the place with like what types of videos I'm making. There's really no real theme here. I'm in all of them, but like, that's the only like consistent thing about, about them. And um, I think too, like even just uh, visually, I'm setting up lights, I'm setting up my camera, I'm making sure things, sh sure things look good um i have my audio so everything sounds looks good looks more professional um because i'm literally just in my bedroom that's just that's just it and so um you know a lot of it boils down to just how i'm seeing myself and how i want to be perceived online and uh that's kind of tricky because you know what i show online you know literally what i film of myself and edit like literally that is like maybe like a one percent of my life uh, of what maybe a day in my life looks like, or, um, you know, obviously it's, it's more like forced and nuanced than that because I'm filming something for a purpose. So I'm making things look good on camera. I'm, you know, worried about my perception, how I talk, how I act. Even right now I'm thinking, you know, how can I keep talking without going, um, or doing, uh, 
I've practiced a lot at that doing uh, live streams on uh, Twitch and YouTube and stuff like that and on TikTok. And uh, this podcast has helped me a ton. So, it, I don't know. The whole thing is just kind of this meta thing where, um, you know, us as artists, we want to be received as one thing and we view our work as one thing. But we, I don't know that we'll ever entirely understand how we're perceived by anyone else on the opposite side of the screen, uh, whether that's through art, art that we post. Um, cause a lot of artists, sometimes you'll compliment them like, Oh, you're like my favorite artist. I follow you, blah, blah. blah. And the artist would be like, uh, Oh my gosh. Like I had no idea. Like I just have like, you know, a few hundred followers. Like I'm not really that crazy, but to, in the eyes of somebody else, you could be like everything. And, uh, so, you know, and there, there's artists and, and creative people like that, that I follow that, um, you know, are, my perception of them is like, wow, they're so good. They do such great work. But in reality, they're probably just feeling this like rot, like inner negative thoughts about themselves. And it's, it's kind of funny because it's so parallel, you know, we're over here viewing the artist or creative person as like the best in the world. Oh my gosh, how do you do it? This is crazy. And the other person's over there like, it's not even that good. Like I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I feel like this is so bad looking, like I don't look professional. And then other people are like, you look professional. This is great. And, and so it's just hard. And I think, I think that's like the hard part I have with like telling people that I do YouTube. Uh, cause I don't really do it for a living cause I'm not earning money currently off of it. Um, uh, so, so it's kind of hard to explain because I've, I've been asked the question every time now because it's kind of come up frequently for some reason. They'll be like, oh, like, what do you do? And I was like, well, I do this as my day job, but also I'm doing YouTube. Like, that's my dream. I'm trying to, like, you know, manifest it, kind of state it more because that is what I'm – my career path and that's where I'm going, right? And, um, you know, I want to be an artist on YouTube. I want to make things. I want to get better at making things. Um, and kind of YouTube is a good way to show that process. Um, and – uh, so it's been interesting because they're like, well, what do you do? And it's kind of hard because like, I want to be perceived as a professional, but then also the negative self-talk is like, oh, well, it's nothing. I just make some silly videos or like whatever. Um, but then also you don't want to bloat because you're like, oh, well, then I'm just ranting. But um, I don't know. It is a tricky balance, that negative self-talk and like how others perceive you and how you present yourselves to others. Uh and I don't know how to walk that fine line. Uh, it is really not that deep, but it is um, it is there. That's all I'll say about that. But, uh, yeah, I I think that has to do with a lot. And, um, yeah, it's, it's hard. And you compare yourself to others. You think, oh, man. Like, for me, if only, like, I daydream about getting, like, new camera equipment, which is funny because my camera is great. It does amazing stuff. I do, like, wedding films and stuff on it. I take photos with it. It's a stellar camera, and I love it. But then I'm always eyeballing the next thing, you know, like, looking at uh, YouTube videos on reviews of new cameras that have come out. Um, and I'm like, ooh, what camera do I want? What lens would I want? And all of these things because, you know, my camera does HD video, which is great great but then i'm looking at 4k video and all these other things that are really cool and would technically on a technical level improve video quality but at the same time it's like i don't need that to make the best stuff I, like i don't need that stuff to make what i want to make like i have what i have to make you know as artists in a different perspective you have you know a very cheap notepad you don't need the most expensive sketchbook in the world to make good art. You don't need, I mean, sometimes it matters. <laughs> I'll contradict myself. Sometimes equipment does matter to a, to a point, uh, such as watercolor, for example. You need to have the proper watercolor paper that is good quality. I forget the brand that I used at college all the time, but uh, there's a specific brand that works really, really well for watercolor and anything else to me is subpar and I notice it immediately and it throws, it, the vibe is off. Although I haven't done watercolor in forever. But uh, yeah, I, and, and sketchbooks as well. You can't watercolor in a sketchbook that's not made for mixed media. It just doesn't work. It falls apart. The paper tears, shreds. It does all sorts of weird stuff. It doesn't retain the color. It's it's horrible. So sometimes, you know, there's a point where things do matter. Uh, but on the flip side of that, you know, you don't need a ton of stuff to do the things you really want to do. Um, and, you know, in my case, I'm like, I have the equipment up to the level that I need. And um, 
I think uh, justifying, you know, not make, you know, not going after making the craziest videos I've always wanted to make because I don't have the highest quality camera available on the market is ridiculous. Um, and so that also is a way that we stop ourselves from creating. Um, and, uh, yeah, I've, I've just been trying to deal with myself on that lately. I have my phone here for notes, by the way, <laughs> on a phone stand. Um, I actually have to show you the setup. It's pretty cool. Uh, if you're not watching this on video, uh, skip probably 10 seconds ahead. I'm just going to show this real quick, zoom out as far as I can. So I have my nice little chair here. Uh, this is my door with some panels stuck on it. And then this is my backdrop to my closet. So I have my closet behind here, but I just have a paper drop backdrop. Uh, if you wanted to watch my full studio tour, you can go to my main YouTube channel. It's just my name, Zach Shirts. Um, and I have an actual full tour there if you want to check it out. Uh, I had originally set this up to kind of look kind of cool. I set up like a little tray stand thing with like a lamp and some plants, like fake plant. And I was like, oh, this kind of looks cool. But then I was just like, I also hate this. Like, this is dumb. Because I was just like, I zoomed in and I was like, you know what? Screw that. Like, I hate this. Like, I'm overcomplicating it already. And uh, it's, it's ironic because the whole podcast is like, you know, there are these hurdles we literally put in front of ourselves that are kind of like roadblocks and they slow the creative process and they make it harder. But, uh, you know, with this podcast, I, I, I still kind of want to treat it like, you know, as long as the audio quality is good, I'm very happy. And that's all that matters. Um, and just like, you know, the the quality of, of what I'm talking about, because um, it's been hard because I feel like I've been wanting every podcast episode to feel like I'm like, oh, I want it to be something I really want to talk about. Like, I don't want to force anything. And, uh, you know, whether that's just for 20 views on YouTube <laughs> You know, I don't know. It's it's silly. Um, but uh, yeah, a lot of these things are just like it's just trying to figure out the balance between um, putting an effort um, and having like high hopes for what you're doing, but then also not like being so in your head that it prevents you from just like being open and free to doing stuff because that's literally all like being an artist and posting stuff online is all about is it's like just stop like put effort into it but like stop like being in your own head about it and just do it because realistically same thing with video work uh, with making videos or like making art or sketchbooks that's something that it's it's ironically so connected um i think it's kind of like a theme right now for me um i have this giant orange sketchbook um that i bought and i was like oh i had all these high hopes i was like maybe i'll like world build i'll do something cool i'll try to make a comic and that whole book will just be like planning for the whole story which is ridiculous because it's just too big of an idea for me to take on right now uh, when realistically I should be focusing on other things. And so, uh, you know, it, it's so paralleled with um, I want to be loose. It, it's hard for me to draw sometimes. That's why I don't draw as often as I used to because I used to do just for fun, just to kind of play around. And then I get like stuck or feel like, oh, my art's not good enough. And I close, you know, my iPad or whatever. And I've been digitally drawing for since forever. And I always felt the pressure to like finish a sketch and make it a full on, you know, illustration or something. And uh, that's just not always the case. Being an artist doesn't mean that. Being an artist means probably a lot more messy sketches than there are final drawings. Uh, I think that's just a fact. Um, and even final illustrations or drawings don't have to be so perfect. They don't have to like be like this whole like, oh man, this is next level stuff for me. Like it can just be like, yeah, this is kind of like same old or not as good, but like I still like it. Like it can be loose and, and open and it doesn't have to be so like finally rendered like it just doesn't and so for me i'm going to be working on uh getting back into like physically sketching i've been sketching on a uh notepad paper um just like a couple a couple nights i sat down and drew on just like it's like a yellow notepad paper and just sketching some things i saw on pinterest and uh it kind of like opened my eyes where i'm like okay like there's just there's, it's just a mental thing. It's like, it's a block where I'm so scared to mess up the sketchbook because it's a cool sketchbook and I want it to have cool things in it um, that I never use it. And I think that's just so sad to like prevent yourself from putting more into the world. And I don't know, it's just really sad because 
There's so many ideas and different things that could come of just sketching or just making whatever random videos you want that you just never know what might come of it. And you may just get your next best idea after sketching for 40 minutes on just like crappy doodles and all of a sudden, bam, it hits you. Or, you know, for me, I could make, you know, 100 more videos on my main YouTube channel or 100 more podcast episodes before, bam, all of a sudden it clicks. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is my thing. This is like this, you know, all of a sudden it starts working. You start, you know, getting successful. And I think, I don't know, it's just, it's just so sad to me. And I've been like reflecting on that, how we just like block ourselves from like doing more when uh, it's just we limit ourselves so much we, our potential is like s through the roof it's like into outer space and we're here like putting like a little a little rope like a little roof over our heads at like two feet and we crouch under the roof and we're like no i'm into this little box this is my little box i can't go outside this box because i'm not good enough or like oh, i don't want to mess with that sketchbook and it's like if you just open your mind and just go for it like who cares being an artist is messy Making videos is messy. Being an artist is messy. Uh, it, it's just so silly. I I don't know. And uh, I think that's the main uh, part of all of this. I, I had written down a few thoughts, um, but I, I, I did want to keep this podcast relatively short. Um, just as 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 much as I want to make loose, messy sketches, I also don't mind making short and uh, not, not as much work put into the podcasts or videos, um, not to make them worse, but just to prove a point to myself that I don't have to sit here and edit like crazy amounts. I don't have to like, it doesn't have to consume hours of my time. Like the podcast used to take a lot of my time. Um, I wouldn't really edit the conversations much, um, like if at all. And, but just, you know, trimming the beginning and ending of a clip and putting intros and outros. Um, but I used to put a lot more effort where I had uh, like literally, literally like animated profile pictures on screen. If you guys remember those times, if you guys are OGs, um, th that, that took a lot of work. Um, we had, I had created a template for it, but it just so time it, just so much time. Uh, and it was really cool. But, you know, at what cost? It's like quality versus quantity right and uh for me longevity uh, if i'm to keep making these podcasts i have to not treat them so highly that every episode is my little baby and i have to you know i have to just make it perfect no i don't i don't have to make sketches perfect i don't have to make videos perfect i just have to make them uh so th that's what i'm working on personally um and this flows into consistency. I've always struggled with it, but um, that's something I want to do as an artist and as a creative um, with making videos and drawing. I just want to be more consistent. And if the bar for entry is low enough, I will be drawing and making videos more. So if I can just take myself out of the box and say it doesn't have to be perfect, I don't have to jump all of a sudden to be perfect as an artist or a videographer to make the best drawings or YouTube videos ever. I have to just take my shot. Take your shot. Ooh, that's a good phrase, actually. Just take the shot. Like, <laughs> that's cool. I actually like that. Uh, <laughs> sorry, that felt really cringy. <gasps> uh, but uh, yeah, I, I just, yeah, that phrase just like kind of, I just said it. I was like, ooh shivers i was like that's a good one just take your shot i like that uh maybe that'll be my new motto i've been trying to find a motto i'm like there's gotta be something i've like i've thought so long about like if i was like a youtuber and had merch what would it be on that merch maybe take your shot you know take a shot uh not in an alcoholic way <laughs> i don't condone drinking uh but um yeah i think just sending your creativity out in the world and just see what happens and you're always improving um so it, it really doesn't matter whether you get that one like on instagram the one view on youtube the one viewer in your live stream whatever you're doing as a creative there's all sorts of different facets i'm just naming the few that i know of that i do regularly and relate to um but that's that's it's all you need is just to like send yourself out there 
and I think that's what I'm going to be working on uh, is is trying to be better. Um, and yeah, it's so tough. I have some really big plans. I have my calendar kind of set up an interesting way to try to be posting more frequently uh, on YouTube and potentially on the podcast. Um, but uh, I'm not going to give away my plans just yet because, you know, I tell you them and then all of a sudden I don't do them. And then, yeah, anyway, so I'm, I'm trying not to announce like, hey, guys, I'm going to be posting X amount of times. No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going to show up when I can and I'm going to just try to get into uh, the mindset of just treating videos and artwork. They're all sketches. They're all just rough sketches and they're not always perfect, but you never know who it's going to resonate with. So uh, I'm going to work on the consistency part of that. Um, and uh, also the first initial feeling I had, and this is my last thought with this podcast, uh, I... I felt like, you know, realizing I have complete control over my future, uh, you know, there's things out of my control, but as far as like what I can do, what I can make, I can control what I can make. I can't control sometimes what jobs I have. I can't control what happens in my life. Uh, there are certain things about health I can't control. There are certain things I can. I can eat good. I can make sure I'm like healthy in that way. But sometimes things happen and uh, you just can't control it. Um, and so, you know, other things that I can control, it kind of amazes me because there would be limitations to things that I can make. It's like, oh, I don't have this, you know, X piece of equipment, so I can't really quite make this um, or whatever that might be. Uh, but there, there is no limit to like how much I can make and how much and, and what I can make. Uh, you know, if there's an idea I have, whether that's through a sketch and to a drawing for a character or for a thing, whatever, um, I can do that. Uh, and if it's for a video, if I have an idea for a video, I can make it. You know, sometimes they're pretty ambitious. They have to be careful where I'm like, OK, that's a really good idea. Uh, oh, that's actually contradicting because if it's a really good idea but oh it's too ambitious don't do it interesting this is all very complex and i really i'm just literally just talking out of my rear end here but um yeah i i i think i i we are in control of so much about our future and uh you know we we can do anything we just have to get rid of the mind rot and, and stop being toxic to ourselves and stop limiting ourselves to what we can do and, and and how or what or where we can do things. Just make things. Throw them out. Everything is a sketch. Everything. Even your final drawings are sketches. Just move on to the next one. It'll help you improve. And I'm going to use that as momentum. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to keep working on that. But uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in this week. Uh, and I appreciate you guys listening. I love to hear your guys' thoughts on these and what struggles you are dealing with uh, in your creative journeys. Um, but I'm really grateful to be able to post videos and podcasts uh, kind of showing my thoughts and my um, process to like doing all this uh, because I'm not perfect and I'm literally horrible at everything. But that's negative self-talk. We're not going to do that here. <laughs> Just talked about that. But uh, I hope to see you guys in the next one and uh, keep creating and keep keep sketching uh take your shot go ahead try it yeah